Hey guys, I just want to do a video since I haven't done in a long, I mean haven't recorded in a long time between school and uh, sports and vacations, off to far away places and stuff. I'm finally back and uh, got a chance to record so why not and today we're gonna we're gonna do changing out the keys on my truck. Uh, but first I'm gonna do a video how to take the old one out. Let's see if I can. This is the old one, I think. Uh, yeah, this is the old one. I'm gonna actually take this one out, and then I'm gonna put this one in. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. All right. Well, I got the key back in, and obviously this one's really uh, just not. I mean, it works. But not that well, and it's it's gonna break soon. So, seeing how it didn't even work barely before when I first got this truck. So, uh, where to put the camera? Where to put the camera? Let's put it right there. So, what do you want? What you want to do is take a small tool like this, uh, and you're gonna want to after you take these two covers off, which you obviously after. Uh, you take these covers off, which is obviously off. Um, you're gonna see this hole right here, and you're gonna want to. Let me just. I am trying to find a place to put this camera so I can actually. Here we go. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's see if that's a good place to put it. All right. After you take this, that. Uh, these covers off you're gonna want to put this down in that hole and put the key in start position and then turn it obviously with the battery out push down on the little thing that's in there in no other position can you feel anything until you put it like that and then you can feel this little like uh Right there, you see where my finger's at? That can go down, and that's what you push it down. And when you push it down, it releases the key mechanism, so you can pull it out. Boom, you got your key mechanism. So, what you want to do then, is you want to buy another yourself another one, another key, which is like, what, 15 bucks at... Auto parts, any auto parts store, 15, 20 bucks, I think. And then all you have to do is you're going to want to line that up how it came out. Well, how the other one came out. Put the key in there. And you're going to want to. Ooh. Let's see. I never, I haven't done this part before, so let's see. There we go. Look at that. Looks like a charm. Boom. And there you go. That's how you uh, put that uh, key mechanism back in. Here's the old one. The old one. Let me just take the keys out. The old one, as you guys can see, I'm going to have to put the camera back on that one position. There really isn't really much, many places to put the camera in these kind of cars or trucks. Well, wait, what happens after a few years, a few, sometimes it just breaks and sometimes it, you know, crap happens but let's see let's get the white one the correct one you see how that see how that is well when you put the key in that's supposed to go down all the way on both sides and when I put the key in let's get that lined up it doesn't go all the way down on one side and believe it or not that just little bit 
will cause your key not to turn correctly. So, um, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I didn't bore you too much. Uh, and I'm, in case you didn't see it by now, I got a new camera. And it's 180p by 60 volts. And, uh, it's a pretty good camera, I'd say. Uh, this thing has 117,000 miles. So, yeah, sometimes the keys go bad in this thing. These trucks and Suburbans and Tahoes and all those. This is probably going to be like a 95 through 98 or 99. I think 99 on Tahoes and Suburbans. So, alright, well, see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.